Are we recording? We are recording. What's the first movie you remember seeing? Aliens from 1986, which means that the first images I remember seeing are of creatures designed by H.R. Giger for Ridley Scott's Alien, which means that my worldview, my reference points, cinematically speaking, I owe this moment of understanding of the world of the moving image to Ridley Scott. It is tough to calculate the impact of a movie like Alien because the world looks totally different in its wake. Sci-fi looks different after Alien and Blade Runner. It can be tough to determine why they were such game changers until you see everything that came before it. And yet, Ridley Scott is not a director who, for most of his life, was treated like an auteur. Certainly not in America, not in the way that we tend to venerate directors. We went to film school together, and his was not a name that was taught to us. There was no name above the poster, no demand to be taken seriously, no ego. He was not an outspoken guy. His drive was the convincing image until lately. He's 84 years old now, as of this recording, and he's starting to finally make it clear how proud of his own work he is and how little patience he has for what's become of the American cinema. And yet, for all his care, all the incredibly varied work he's done, he set a precedent that many people have followed, and he bears some responsibility for what happened to the popular American cinema. He made millions for studios by helping the big budget movie become what it is today. He was one of a handful of directors, along with his brother Tony Scott, who set the pace for American blockbusters. The brutal and catchy set piece and the idea of film as pure entertainment with soul, with the character of a painting or an opera. And then he and the popular American cinema parted ways after Tony's death, like he had grown tired of his creation. Like, he now saw a path to making something more personal, something that meant more to him. And yet, he remains inscrutable as an artist. He never states his aims, he never lays his soul bare in anything other than in his images of violence. We wanted to know after years of watching this guy's movies, of having him inspire our love of cinema, just who is Ridley Scott? Because their story needs unpacking after all of these years of kind of being on silent running. He came from England with his brother, and together they colonized the American cinema. I do.